Good morning everyone, it's Rachel back again and I'm really excited to show you today this beautiful journal that Lulu made for me. Um, she is so sweet. Oh, I forgot to bring in the card that she made for me. Oh well. Um, she worked really hard on it and it was a surprise for my birthday and it's the best present I could ever receive. And I just love her um, take on how to embellish it and also the papers that she took from my stash and and although she was working on it for about um, 10 days on the kitchen table in at one end of it I tried not to look so I had no idea what it was going to look like at the end um, and she did it all by herself I showed her how to do the pamphlet stitch and um, she did that I did measure for her that's the only thing I did for her um, but she stitched them in and uh, the signatures and so I'll show you what she did she's so clever so this is the cover she's used this beautiful um, Mrs. Cog image and she's layered um, some paper that we got in Venice and some book page and washies and she glued on some lace over her pamphlet stitch and then that's the back it's a super old book and then I hopefully I've got this lovely Stamperia rice paper as the background. Hopefully you can't see my my desk because when I look through my iPad, all I can see is rice paper. But you might be able to see my desk because I noticed that when I put it on um, YouTube, it's a wider screen. So this is the inside. She's put some lace down here. She made a pocket. Um, she was very busy making tags, so she's just layered all different papers and washies so that's the first tag and then she made this tag here very clever she even got the shape right it's pretty good and then she made these gorgeous which i never do i don't know where she, she must have seen it somewhere look at these beautiful um what do you call them paper clips how gorgeous are they Hmm, I wonder where she got the seam by oh she got it out of my drawer I told her she could go and take whatever she wanted so she just did it so that's the first one the first page whoops I pinned them together whoops okay so this is the next one. Oh god I hope you don't, don't see my um, the rice papers moving around so I'll just flick through she's put all a mix of papers now this is a pocket here She's made a lovely pocket with this gorgeous image and she's put some lace there. Now, the pages are very stiff because Lulu is very generous with the PVA. Oh, isn't that cool? She got that. She made a belly band and put a little tag in that she made. And um, she stuck it down with washi. I might put some glue under there. Um, some music paper upside down. She's like me. She doesn't know which way is up. Um, and then just some decorative paper. And then that's the Tim Holtz. Um, bird there and some more paper and one of her lovely I love these these lovely um, paper clips clever chook um, there's some book page and then this is the second signature and another one of her little um, paper clips I don't know why I can never remember that A lovely artwork I just love the um, Page, the papers that she chose. That's a Stamperia. Um, some Tim Holtz. It's one of my favourites. I'm glad she put that in there. There's another gorgeous um, little paper clip. And oh, and here, this is very clever, Lulu. Um, this is a, one, a gorgeous painting from the 1600s. And then you flip it up. And it's a few pages to write in. I thought that was very clever. So all by herself she did this and then this I love that and I love ticking and then this is the back and she's stuck down looks like some tea dyed paper there she's made a very shiny old book page pocket here she's layered it it's very stiff and it's it's shiny it's got um glue all over it I think or Mod Podge and then she's made a lovely tag as well she really layered up those tags because they're quite rigid so she really um went to town on them so they're very very it's very beautiful my favorite one of my favorite washies here and some that old that um paper bag and then that is the back 
So guys, what do you think? What should I use it for? Maybe I should document our 2019 in there or something. I'm not really a journaler. I wonder what I should use it for. If you have any ideas, let me know. And I just was so excited I had to show you what Lulu had made um, all in her lonesome. So I hope you're having a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.